Hello guys, James here and welcome back to episode number 47 I'm a Rotogorian free Ultimate team on the Nintendo Switch. Today's episode, starting off selling some bits as per usual, getting a bit uh, used to this now, but yeah, we uh, have actually got another load of um, informs that we sold off, making a bit of profit on them just to get rid of them out of the club and uh, make some coins and then some extra gold stuff and bronze pack method in there and uh, making loads of coins and that's so very nice indeed. And then we've also got um, this is now marquee matchup, the UCL marquee matchups from this week um, with the uh, Man United PSG uh, fixture and the Spurs against Dortmund. Very cheap, this one definitely worth doing. Um, you get the two two decent um, normal sort of packs, and then you get the free tradable UCL player um, pack for completing both of them. And uh, yeah, you can get good players out of them, like we've said before. So uh, it's definitely worth doing. And um, yeah, if you uh, if you need any help with the uh, solutions, then uh, just pause it. Like I've said it before as well, just pause the video on the uh, solutions and uh, use that as a bit of inspiration. Uh, and then yeah, so we got the flashback 91 rated petter check, which I uh, I've completed now. Which you can see, this is the Premier League segment which uh, we used that on trade all um, Ryan Frazier from Bournemouth that we got when we done the uh, team of the season upgrade packs uh, team of the year sorry and um, yeah then the Premier League one which I did have to spend quite a bit on um, but basically this all in all even with the untradables was less than 200k then once you take off the packs that we get and the fact that it's the cheapest 91 rated player you're ever going to get and to be honest, the fact that he's also our 91 rated Premier League goalie that we're going to keep in our team probably for the rest of the game, just because he is basically a carbon copy of De Gea. Um, so yeah, unless um, we can get De Gea for cheaper or another SPC comes out where we can use him, um, and that's a massive benefit because he's 91 rated. And um, yeah, so he's basically the fact that we got the packs. The fact that he's pretty cheap um, for a 91 rated card and the fact that he's cheaper than De Gea is at the moment um, and basically the same thing that's all what made me do him I was going to do Tim Howard but the fact that you, I don't get any packs back for him he's well he's 89 rated which is good but if I do Tim Howard it means that I've got to do um, I've got to use him in a uh, SPC basically down the line because he's never going to be in a team so oh, I just didn't bother in the end I may come to regret that, but yeah, I'll, I'll, that's the decision I made at the time because it's a good, like, sort of 40 50k, I think, to complete him. So, yeah, that is what it is. But we do end up packing a massive player as well, which made it even more worthwhile doing the Czech SPC. We do pack uh, Josh King, second informer, who looks like a really good striker that we could use in our team. But I, uh, I'm actually trying to list him and trying to sell him at the moment um, and, uh, yeah, just get the coins because he's. I think his max price is about 70k at the moment and uh, that'll be just great to add to our coin balance um, as I would quite like to uh, upgrade to Aubameyang um, sooner rather than later uh, one of our strikers that we've got but uh, yeah we'll see how that goes and uh, we didn't get too much out of the rest of the packs if I'm honest but uh, like always all the contracts and all the uh, gold consumables are just an unbelievable value um, and then a load of the duplicate pairs as well that we do end up selling off you uh, do see that at the end of the episode um, and then we finish off this pack opening section with um, with our, tr our free player tradable UCL pack and uh, we don't do well at all out of that to be honest but um, yeah I mean let me know if you've done better than that you I've probably like usual my pack luck's been horrendous to be honest we got that informed Josh King which is to be fair that's decent that's the first good thing we've had in a bit of a, quite a while to be honest probably since we got that last Tony Cruz I think maybe that was what we got in the uh, during team of the year pack opening maybe that was the last thing of note I think we got but uh, yeah that is that um, let me know down below in the comments if you uh, if you got anything better in the packs I bet you did um, you must have done but um, yeah, and then we've also got this highlight of the game, guys, which is the last game I played in Division uh, 1, which is 
a game that you're going to see win us the title for the first time so we have won Division 1 now um, and I've, I've played all the rest of the games off camera just to sort of see whether the pressure of me doing it on camera was having any effect as I thought I should have I've been doing a bit better than I have been before um, and it sort of proved that um, but I'm, I think that's just a coincidence at the same time though but we did this was our eighth game and we did go eight you know in division one so I was very pleased with that and um, I think yeah definitely the art upgrades to the team the fact that we've got Ibrahimovic coming off the bench now um, it's just all adding up to good things and um, I can definitely make use of all these good players and all these coins we've spent on our team and uh, yeah it's coming off and it's, uh, it's great to see but this guy that was one of the most unfortunate own goals he tried to pass it back to his goalie I think but he's, he had made his goalie run out at the same time so Juan Fran just ended up passing it straight past his keeper into the back of the net to make it 4-1 um, he did make it a bit squeaky one time because he brought um, he brought it back to 4-2 with Ben Yedda on the 57th minute um, and then after that I believe he brings it back with Anega getting his second goal as you'll see here he comes forward plays it up to uh, Benega with promise and he gets a nice shot off with his right foot across the keeper and uh, yeah 70th minute I've made my subs and um, yeah that was a turning point we really went on and sealed this game as you will see coming up just before the subs actually come on we uh, we play the ball to Fred he's doing some good work in the box Vardy picks it up cuts back inside on his left foot He's actually pretty got, got a pretty poor weak foot, only a three star, but he manages to finesse that in past his keeper and then uh, our subs come on after that. So we're already 5-3 up and then uh, into 89th minute now, Rashford doing some good work down the wing, cuts and runs all the way over and uh, just a simple finesse shot in past his uh, keeper. And uh, yeah, that sealed the deal for us. So we get a massive 15,000 coin bonus for that game. Which is uh, amazing. I'll be yeah, looking to uh, try and win as many more division ones as I can, and uh, yeah, because those coins are great, and it's probably one of the better ways to make coins if you're good enough to win it all the time. I definitely recommend you doing that for sure. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much going to be wrapping up the episode. All we've got now is um, basically what I've done was I've done three UCL um, two-player upgrade packs. Um, and you, as you're going to see here, I, actually, I accidentally opened one as I was meant to open a bronze pack after that game. And we do pick up Candreva, which is quite nice, and Pellegrini from Roma. So uh, Candreva there, a high rated um, UCL one, or quite a high rated for considering what I've been getting. Um, and then we do pick up, or we don't pick up, we uh, complete the Tension Mounts SBC, another UCL one, which gets a, a free play UCL pack again. And we're, we do save that for a pack opening that I want to do once I've done this week's normal marquee matchups with those um, UCL upgrade packs. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to finish the, op the episode now, showing you a load more soul stuff. And uh, yeah, just want to say again, thanks so much for watching, guys. All the support's amazing. Make sure you check out my Twitter and Instagram links in the description, as well as the FIFA Discord chat in the uh, description as well. And uh, yeah, just hit me up in the comments telling me how good your team's coming along and uh, what you've been doing on FIFA lately. And uh, yeah, that's it for now, and I shall see you next one. Cheers, guys.